to get the fluid artifact, I needed to have a clear coat. So I took a bottle of um, Salon Perfect Clear Coat and then that Garnier Fructis Anti-Frizz Serum that I got from Walmart. And I put several squirts of that into the bottle. I made sure to empty out some of the clear coat first. And then I just put a few squirts of that in there. And then I did a few test swatches and I just kept adding a little bit more until I was happy that I had enough of that anti-frizz serum in there because I really wanted to try to get as much um, cells, little bubbles that kind of come through. I used polishes that were really thin. I had to test several polishes when I did this because I really wanted to use polishes that were gonna be super thin, that weren't a very thick kind of polish and the reason for that being is they they tend to work more with that fluid serum. I was using a stamper to very, very, very lightly push down on the little polishes that I had there to get them to blend and then also to help those cells come through the polish, kind of like when you're just doing regular fluid art. You want to um, agitate it so that the cells work, will come through and you'll see these little pops of color. Here I'm just pressing it to my nail to make sure it's fully adhered to all the little corners and all that. And then I'll take an orange stick and start pressing down the sides some more. And then using pure acetone to kind of detach the stuff I don't need from the nail and get it all cleaned up and nice. Here I'm applying a top coat because when you do that it starts to melt that polish. So it kind of starts to adhere itself to my nail and then I can easily pull away and work the stuff that I don't need off of my skin. Mm -hmm. 